Yeah. Hey guys, so uh, my name is Shab. I'm the stage at the Delta Chapter of the College of New Jersey. Um, I'm not actually giving the presentation today about recruitment. I have two of my guys doing that. But to begin the recruitment presentation, um, I just want to give a little spiel about how I feel about recruitment. Um, I think the best way to recruit new members to your organization is by showing those non-members value at which organization is about. And I think the best way to do that is to show your members itself value. This is coming from a leadership standpoint, to all like the e-board members. If your members don't see value, they won't show value to non-members. If your non-members don't see value, they're not going to want to join your organization. And I think the one way that you show value to your members is to let them appreciate the positions that they do hold. And that's why when I was asked to give this presentation, I didn't want to do it. I wanted my recruitment guys to do it. So uh, without further ado, we have um, Andrew Goodman and Austin Gibbs to give the presentation about recruitment. So. I'm Andrew Goodman, I'm also on the Rush Committee. Uh, and we're here to talk to you a little bit about how we did our recruiting process and how that went this year. Chemistry and work ethic in the group, we want to have people you know, getting up to work correctly. Um, like I said, it's a huge commitment to end up giving speeches, sometimes at promise workshops. Uh, it's, it's, we're going to go on to the right events now. Where in which we book a large room on campus. I don't know how many guys do you, do you actually like do rush events on your campus? How many guys do rush events? All right, all right that's pretty good. All right. Um, in general, what we do is we book a large room on campus. Uh, we make it mandatory for every single brother to attend in the fraternity. Um, the best way to do it in this day and age is to advertise over social media. Uh, we you know, our Twitter will tweet it, we'll retweet it. Um, Instagram, anything you can do, because some kids will see it. Actually, Facebook's probably the best way, where you invite, you know, you look up, you know, potential recruitment, uh, and, and a lot of times, a lot of your schools probably have your like class of like 2017, class of 2018, and what you can do is basically um, create that event, put it in those groups so those people know about it, so they can get the word out. And basically, what we'll do with these rushes, we said we'll have that large room, we'll have two girls sitting at a front desk that are these seats. Just sitting there, sign their names, and their name tag, give like give them a little wink, whatever they need. And um, after that, we'll go in, we'll have a little mingle session, and then most of the time, we will pick um, a lot of the older brothers and friends to make speeches about certain things. Like we had three different rush events this year. Our first one, we had two brothers make a speech, one about social, and one about brotherhood. You really want to stress the important things in your fraternity and make literally separate yourself from the other fraternities around you. And also, we other speeches we did, we did our campus involvement. They know what you're doing for your uh, community service, we do the programming, and everything like that. Uh, we also had our last speech was about um, our fraternity house. We talked about owning house, and it's kind of one way that we separate from other fraternities is that we own our own house compared to a lot of other fraternities that TCJ did not. So use all those different types of things to basically separate yourself from that. Now, in general, why do we recruit? Um, recruitment is literally the lifeblood of the fraternity, and you really can't underestimate it the extreme value that it has for your organization. Um, it's really like a barometer of success for how your organization is going. Um, <laughs> the more people and the higher quality people that you can bring out really shows how where you are in the chapter. Um, the way I can describe it is you have basically a fire and recruitment is literally the fuel to that. It's literally how much you know gas you can light this flame with and once it gets low and your numbers get low that's when you start getting into you know danger and the best way to do it is to put all your resources in fraternity into recruiting the best people i think from our own experience um about a year or two ago our fraternity was slightly declining and um basically this last spring we brought in the biggest uh budget class dcj has ever seen for a fraternity and already we bring in an instant impact so you want to be able to recruit those kinds of kids that are come in right away and want to make an impact on your Kids that will come in and start making you know, speeches and things like this. <laughs> All right, so who to rush? Very simple. Every person. Everybody. Everybody. Honestly, in the long run, when you meet someone at a rush event, you're only going to talk to them for two minutes. Not because they don't know that well. So what you want to do is basically have a broad spectrum of people that you can choose and have to go along to know them along the way. You never know who you're going to pass up or actually visit. <laughs> This is the 20, 60, 20 rule. On the one hand, we have the 20 percent that literally are all about frats. Um, well, frat stars out of the womb. I think we have brother Blinky here today. We definitely that. Um, 
So we also have the 20% that literally, no matter what you do, you get all the bevins. Every bra in the world, every car, and they still would not join for their ratings. And we have the 60% which is where I came from, and that's literally the guys that, you know, you have to show them what the worth is of having fraternity, the benefits of, you know, networking, brotherhood, and the social aspects. Because literally there's not one aspect of your, their lives that won't be improved by joining, you know, strong brotherhood. Uh, that's really the area you want to target. It's a 60%. That's the vast majority of kids that are really going to make up the bulk of fraternity. There are going to be a lot of kids along your way that are on the fence, and that's their part that's 60%. Then what you need to do is just give them that little extra push, give them that little incentive to come out and join the fraternity. Now we can check it out. Alright, so we're in a rush. Um, one advantage that we have at TCNJ is that eight of us are ambassadors. And ambassadors at TCNJ have a little bit of we're involved on campus and get to work so you can know the kids sooner. So I definitely recommend you as attorneys go out and join organizations because along the way, you're going to meet kids that are in those organizations that you could suggest coming out to the attorney. Like that. Um, like I said, we have ambassadors. We also have like five or six athletes right now, which has also brought new members to our Literally everywhere is a rush event, basically. You're at the gym, you know, a kid needs a spot, you know, help the boy out. You know, dining hall, you know, you know, you see kid, you know, some spots sitting alone, you know, go ask him over, you know, have to sit with you, get to know him. Um, nowhere is, literally nowhere is off limits. You should always be, um, you rushing, we'll get to you later. Um, so don't just sit in your dorm room, you know. I know it's handy. Yeah, the only spot not to watch flood bathroom is not a good idea. Not like not in the class trying to stay away from this or anything like that, but honestly it's really everywhere. And it's everyone that's watching. The more that people see you out on campus wearing glasses and get to know like you're familiar with the faces of who you are and what you guys are about, it definitely is gonna propel you guys to a strategy or brush. Alright. So how do we rush? Point number one, oh, man flirt. It's a little weird, but we all do it. We may not have been there. It's really not shameful. And it's kind of like normal for you. It's all for yeah. girl, right? You're not going to go over to her and be super aggressive. Unless you made a couple of drinks, then you might be a little bit more aggressive. But you're not going to be over aggressive. From my own personal experience, I was going to say, brought by the Chief Priest of CJ. Other ones came over too strong. It was a little bit too much. And one thing that Single Pie did really but they basically told me that it's okay. Like, Go out there, find your turn that fits you. They didn't have to go over here and beg you to come out again. They were really black. So be like black, everything like that. And it's more of a natural thing than anything. The advantage that you'll have is, is incalculable if you literally let them come to you rather than go over for it. It's always the worst thing to do to go over for it. Be yourself, you know, literally don't try to force flesh to go out and go to Tell them all what we're all about. If you're talking about it uh, and they're interested, they're going to bring it up naturally. And also, never talk negatively about another person. A lot of people run into this problem, and it makes you look bad and you're going to poorly. If you just stay away from talking about other fraternities, and <coughs> maybe you can talk positively about them, you'll see what kind of guys you're about, and understand themselves what kind of guys you are and what you guys are. And one brush tactic we use a lot is, if you meet someone that's interested in joining a fraternity, and they have a lot of similar interests to other guys, you move on, you should match them up with some type of brothers. Get them to know, like, oh, so-and-so is like basketball, they can play pick up basketball and play nothing with that would probably that. You know, so like folks. You know, if I if I'm sitting down you know, <laughs> smoke outside with my brothers, that might be something like that. And like I mentioned before, um things in CCNJ history, right about that Alright, so quick question. Who here knows what ABR stands for? Anyone? Other than this guy this guy right now. Always be rushing. Yes. Always be rushing. It's very important. You would never know when you're gonna be coming across cross paths with someone that's interested in the attorney and you're gonna be making a huge impact for your brain. So always, always it's really a twenty four seven yeah, I'm, I'm rushing people right now. So as you guys gotta understand, it's really it's it's a twenty four seven kind of thing. Right. <laughs> Literally everybody knows all women. You show you showcase your personality and the benefits of the you life. Yeah, yeah. You guys said you guys have any questions like that? Oh, wait, no, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We I was have alive. <laughs> uh, man. What's even more important than trying to show these kids what you're all about and what the attorney's all about? The benefits of it. 
it's cultivating, you know, a great campus image and integrated places are very important. We want everyone on campus to talk positively. Word of mouth should always be, it's really always stronger than anything you can say. So anything that they're going to hear from their friends or older, you know, even sorority girls, or older fraternity guys, you know, maybe their brother or something. So things that they've heard will literally be the biggest impact on that same thing. And a lot of times, if you want to use the first thing for, for <coughs> like, like I said, when we're talking about people, they talk about, oh, I heard about one brother in the fraternity that went out and did some like this. Really great. And it is that one story, especially in small schools, a lot of people in small schools, that, I mean, no, the word does travel fast. And you really need to get that so, like I said, you know, recruitment is literally the lifeblood of the organization, but it also needs, you know, a very healthy part of the organization to let that even flow because having productive brothers you know, on campus, they make prospective members interested. You know, you need to have a whole fraternity that's, you know, killing it socially, um, you know, academically, and getting involved on campus because once they see these kind of things, they'll understand they want to be a part of it. You know, you need the entire organization working together. It's a whole organization that needs a rush, not just a rush, not just a rush. And in general, when you're talking about rushes, avoid um called the name tag conversations. Um, you literally, you know, you don't want to ask these questions like, oh, where are you from? What's what you play? You know, it's literally you want to like, oh, tell me what you're about. You know, you really get, you want to get dynamic conversations rather than one word answers. That, you know, <laughs> once that dead end and that awkward silence hits, you know, these kids are thinking in their head like, wow, like I don't know if I'm like, I'm really compatible with these kind of guys socially. So try to make as open-ended questions as you can, and always be able to, you know, talk fluidly. Yeah, especially even if you have a funny story that to tell, it takes up like two, three minutes, they can see a little bit about your personality, that can make a huge difference. Do you guys have any questions or anything like that? Questions, comments,